What's up, people? This is Windy Sonic, and welcome back to a Let's Play of Naruto Generations. And we're in Jiraiya's Tale. Naturally, we just we challenged Naruto. Naruto. Able to but it was true. He really had come far. There were still areas he needed to work on, but he got a passing grade. Naruto Uzumaki. If I may say so about my own apprentice, I know he walks the straight and narrow. Of all my apprentices, you really were the crudest, most annoying, and stupidest of all. But you were also the strongest. You were a ninja. Yeah, I guess he was the strongest. I had a student who would carry on my legacy. I knew it, without a doubt. hidden in the rain. As soon as I heard that the Akatsuki's leader was hiding out there, I rushed over to learn more. It was a long time ago, but there were three children here who trained for a short time as my apprentices. I kind of wish we they could play as them. each other deeply and I we probably will in the next game lead us all to peace through their example. Storm 3. However, I never thought I would meet them again under conditions like these. Me either. One of my apprentices, Conan, now a member of the Akatsuki, appeared in front of me. When she was bad, but you know, I like hate the, the fact that she died God, though. Conan you know, that just was too short and that was just not fair. Her heart. The Conan I knew, had she surrendered to darkness. As her teacher, the least that I could do was perform her final rites. My determination could not waver. If you're here, then are the other two here as well? Knowing that would be pointless. <laughs> There's a guy standing Your next to me. Ends here. Well, well, listen to you, Conan. <laughs> I kind of wish it got mixed with fire, though, like it did in the first game, Jiraiya's Ultimate. No matter how far she had fallen, fighting one of my own apprentices was painful for me. But my feelings could help no one now. Feeling sympathy for the Akatsuki would be futile. As my fight with Conan intensified, he finally appeared. The Akatsuki leader, Pain. 
he stood before me calmly. Pain. His true identity was Nagato, just as I'd expected. Like Conan, Nagato had once been an apprentice of mine. Oh boy. He had awakened the most powerful of the visual jutsu, the Rinnegan. Why? Why would someone with such promise surrender to the darkness of the Akatsuki? And more importantly, why had all the pains I'd seen, not just Nagato, carried the Rinnegan? My heart was troubled. But there was one thing I did understand. The time for explanations was past. I had to stop him. Stop Nagato. Stop pain. He yeah, made I guess we do. Student, but as an opponent, his strength rivaled my own. To win, I would need everything I had. In order to bring all my strength to bear against him, I summoned the two great sage toads and entered sage mode. This would be the decisive battle. Because it would. Hey, or should I say Nagato? What have you done? Sensei, you are merely human, but I am no longer a prisoner of humanity. I have become one who will show the way. A god. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. A god? You've got to be kidding me. As you are god, allow me to grant you pain. Then the time for words is past. No more holding back. Nagato, I end your life today. I wish. But, you know, we are fighting a corpse. Come on. Let the battle begin! like that last time the first time I actually got kind of pummeled I win. Not looks like we'll actually have to end it here because that was our last fight the next will probably be de no no I'll continue Yeah, I thought I was gonna end it, but the victory went to me. No, I pushed my chakra to the limit, and my wounds were great. All that mattered was pain was defeated. I thanked the two great sage toads. The battle was over. I could finally return to the hidden leaf, or so I thought. He stood there. Pain stood in my way once more, as if nothing had happened. How had he done it? Why was he untouched? With the last of my chakra, what else could I do? Give up. You can't win. No. I've still got some fight left in me. You don't know when to quit, old man. What's the point? What's the point? To be just one. Fine. Your destiny is to die here. <laughs> 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 
in this version, it's not really going to show any gore. It's no good. I'm losing consciousness. See, they don't show the blood. Am I going to die? I'm. You never go back on my word. Never! That's my ninja way! Until I become Hokage, there's no way I'm gonna die! If being smarter means what you say it does, I'll remain a fool my entire life! No, Ruto. Yes. I remember now, Ruto. You never give up. <laughs> being your master, I have no business whining. Nothing left you can do. This is really cool right here. To make me give up. <laughs> oh, he had no peoples at the moment. That was really, really cool. It's almost like a Super Saiyan kind of. Well, you know, with white hair. I guess this is the end of the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Looking back, my life has been nothing but failure. Rejected by Tsunade. Unable to stop my friend. Unable to protect either my student or my teacher. Compared to the great deeds of the Hokage, my actions are trifling, insignificant yeah. things indeed. And I have no legacy. No, that's not true. I... I have found someone to inherit my will, so I can rest easy. Right, Naruto. Sharing, laughs, being with you is what gave me the strength to walk this path for so long. Thanks to your existence, those kind of look like the popsicles, almost, uh, that what they had in Kingdom Hearts between the nobodies. Looks like he's rising to the sun at that moment. And these animations are great, and they're, you know, unarguably better than the manga, than the uh, anime itself. But anyway, viewers, that was the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. For Gara's.